morning. How's everybody doing today? Doing well, thanks for asking. Bite a beat down here. Sunday morning. 7.15ish. A.M.ish. Just getting up and going. So, I'm kind of concerned about my, about my toe, my foot, my right foot. Remember, a couple weeks ago, I hit my toe on my dumbbell. And I thought maybe I broke my little toe or something. Well, I mean, I've been moving around on it just fine. I walk every day, I spin, I work out. This morning, I just clipped my toenails. Of course, you know, you're messing with your toes while you're doing it. But my right foot's a little swollen. I don't know if that's normal. It almost makes my toes look like they're shorter, like they're jammed. So I'm worried that they're jammed, but they're, they don't feel jammed. Nothing feels off or weird. You know how much trouble it is to get in to see your dang doctor anymore since the world's went to absolute turd sickles. I don't know if it's worth messing with. But anyway. Had a good week. Good workout week. Everything pretty much went according to plan. Even my deadlift Friday. My elevated deadlift which the weights are only about an inch and a half maybe off the floor. So I ain't too elevated. I pulled my 460. I actually did three sets if you watch the video. Uh, my hand kept giving me problems with my grip. And come to find out, I guess I was ripping a callus off, and that's what the problem was. It's still uh, tender, of course. So I'm hoping by Friday, everything will be ready to go. I'll be okay. If so, next Friday, I'm still going to do uh, elevated deadlifts. I'm going to keep doing 460. I'm not going to go up any higher. You've seen me go up a little higher. I'm not going to go up any higher than 460. I'm going to keep working with that until I feel like I'm ready to uh, pull it from the floor. And I feel like I'm strong and ready. So that's pretty much your sneak peek into next Friday. And if I had someone here who could spot me Tuesday, I might would go for a bench PR. See what I could do. I'm ready to get moving on on my bench PR. <laughs> get that over. Been working on that for a while. That's, that's the one thing about working out at home when you don't have a spotter. You know, you got to you gotta think a little bit of safety. Even though I go up kind of heavy. You know, without a spotter, it's dangerous, but sometimes you just got to do it. Did I say force it? I don't know what. Anyway, my brain's wanting to... My brain's wanting to brain fart on me. So anyway... If I could lay down and get 380, I would be happy because the one time I tried to get 380, my oldest son kind of botched up the, the lift. You can go find the video if you want. It's in the playlist under chest. You can find it in there.
nice coolness out this morning. Feels nice. Pretty out. So next week's going to be our first week out of school. So starts my two months of twiddling my thumbs. The guy that lives right here in this house, right beside of me, there's my house. Here's his house. We were talking. He kind of, he kind of wants to throw me an offer to buy that, to buy a little chunk of my land where my shed is that we don't use. Literally, his line stops on this side of my shed, and then my shed's just right there. It's a 16 wide. So he'd only technically be buying about 16 feet. But he was talking well, because he wants to expand his shop a little bit and he has to have X amount of room. So he threw out an offer, not just a cost, he threw out a cost, you know, price option. But he also threw out a, I'll build you a new building wherever you want it on your property. Which, if you've been following my channel, you know I want my own gym. You know, so I can get out of the house. But, I don't know if I want to do that. Because I don't really want the house. I want to sell. And get out of here, because... It's just a uh, that house is a money pit. Has been since the day we got it. I'm not wanting to get more loans to fix it up, and it's just not worth it. So, but it's a pretty interesting offer. You know, if the house is in good shape and it didn't need anything. The biggest thing is a septic issue. The septic out here in this whole neighborhood sucks. So, you know, we're all on septic systems. We don't have city sewage. And uh, that's one of the things. As soon as we moved in our house, uh, within just uh, like six months, we ended up having to get a second mortgage on the house, $10,000, and put a whole new system in. So now we got two tanks, we got a pump system that pumps the sewage under the driveway over into the field line that we had to get ran, 300, two or 300 feet of field line. We have a curtain drain around the property. Curtain drain is where they dig out a trench along the property, put some gravel and a correlated, whatever kind of pipe system, you know, with holes in it. So water can get in the pipe and run through and such then more gravel and then put dirt on top is to help try to get some of the water off the property that runs down and soaks into the ground and hits that and then goes out the pipe so we've had that we ended up a couple of years later getting the finance an HVAC system through our power company because the one that was with the house was like 40 years old didn't work the heat worked but the air didn't work so we ended up so now we got that financed you know paying like $63 a month through our power company for that the hot water heater goes out like every other month gas water heater garbage it needs to be taken out put an electric one in <sighs> a 
whatever it is with the gas part of here. It's that thing that has to be taken out and cleaned all the time. Some sensor, some something. Something has to be taken out. It literally takes them, you know, 20 minutes to get the job done. And then charges you however much money. So, we've had that done. And I've done it. I haven't taken it out and cleaned it, but I reset it all and it eventually works. But we've had that worked on probably five times in the few years we've been here already all the faucets in the bathtub and shower need to be ripped out and new ones in they all leak wiring needs to be fixed it needs to be probably rewire the whole house all the outlets are goofy. Some of the outlets don't work. And it's not because of a GFI or anything like that. They just, one minute they'll work, next minute they're not. It's just lots of problems. I know, I know, electricity is dangerous. Mike, you need to get that looked at. Oh my God, your house is going to burn down. I know. Anything can happen. So the house is just kind of a money pit. Oh, and on top of that, it needs a new roof. And on top of that, technically, the carport roof, the lean-to, it needs to be restructured because it's wavy. All the, all the facing and the soffit needs to be redone. It needs a new driveway driveway is awful it needs a lot of work but if we can last long enough to get it paid off then we could sell it as a fixer-upper make sure you put that in the contract that it has problems sell it pocket all the money ourselves because I can sell it myself Great neighborhood. Put that money towards something else and have it paid off. Mike, what could you have paid off? Well, I'm in I'm in the minority, I guess, of I would buy a new mobile home and uh, set it up on a nice lot. We have a couple of nice trailer lots that aren't overrun with drugs and disgustingness. I'd take it, set one up there, live out the rest of my days in a new trailer. A lot of people don't like trailers, but Wherever he laid his hat was his home. That's all that matters to me. That and a reliable home. When you get older, you don't want to have to worry about, you know, money pits. And a trailer, a, a brand new trailer would last the rest of my little life. shed that I don't use that's garbage I was going to turn it into a home gym into a gym uh, but when they did our field line they cut the power to my shed and the water it even has a little water spigot there in front they cut all that when they did that and they didn't fix it so it's just a shed broken down shed with no electricity now see when we first got in here I even put a new roof on it 
just did a quick little quick little shoddy job on it but it was better than the shingles that were on it yeah if people had if somebody had the money to put into this it wouldn't you know you could fix it up nice but then you just got to worry about the septic They would put city sewage out here. That'd fix a lot of things. Then it might be worth putting some money in. Or should I say more money? More money, more money, more money. Well, guys, this has been a long walk and talk. Guess I'm ready to put my phone down. It's killing my shoulders. So... And if you enjoyed the talk, if you got anything to add to the conversation, let me know in the comments. So like, share, subscribe, comment. All the good stuff to the body beatdown. That's me, Mikhaili, your incredible host. Get up, get out, get red. Do it to it. See you later. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!